Hi friends, welcome back to your virtual art room. I'm really glad you decided to join me. Today we're going to continue our study of the artist Juan Miro. We're gonna look at some of his artwork and then we're going to use it to inspire us as we make these really cool doodle flower paintings. Do you remember our artist Juan Miro? He was born in 1893 and died in 1983. Miro was a great experimenter. He tried making art in all different styles. His early art was more realistic, but as he grew older, he began experimenting with shapes, lines, and colors. Some of the shapes are recognizable, but a lot of it just looks like doodles. Miro imagined himself as an artist who worked like a gardener. Here's what he said about his art making. I think of my studio as a vegetable garden. Here, there are artichokes. Over there, potatoes. The leaves have to be cut so the vegetables can grow. At a certain moment, you must prune. I work like a gardener or a wine grower. At this point, you could go off on your own and do your own doodle flowers, or you could keep watching and draw along with me. I'm gonna start with a round flower, just drawing two circles, I'm drawing as big as I can so I can fill the page. That's a little boring. What I do to make it more interesting? Maybe some lines sticking out with circles on the end? Sure. Remember, this is a flower doodle. It doesn't have to look like a real flower. Maybe some little lines and circles in here. Stem and a couple leaves. So for my next flower, well, I'm going to start with the stem this time. Maybe make it curve. Another curved line. Well, how about some other lines in here? And yeah, curved line for the top. That works. A couple little round leaves. You can make your leaves whatever shape you want. I'm trying to invent a bunch of different styles. I like that flower. I'm going to draw another one over here. Kind of fill up that empty space to the left of my big flower. I really don't have room for very many leaves. Come to my next flower. Maybe I'll make some wiggly stems. Five's a good number. little round ball flowers at the top. And some leaves. This time I'm just using ovals. Now I have some more space and I need to fill it. So I need to invent a new kind of flower. I'm going to do kind of a viney flower with some loopy leaves. Maybe a teardrop shape. That's a cute flower. Make another one. Make it taller. See if I can get up into that empty space that I have. Ooh, I ran into my flower. I'll just overlap it, that's fine. I'll branch it off and make a couple other teardrop flowers. Remember, you don't have to copy my flowers. You can make your flowers look however you want. One last flower over on the left side to fill that empty space. And I need something over on that right side. Maybe I'll copy that first flower I did. Started with, let's see, a stem, a little circle, 
in a bigger circle, and then those lines coming off with the circles on the end. With this flower, I'm going to make those lines overlap the big circle. And my little lines with little circles. A couple little leaves, and my doodle flowers are done. Now it's time to color. I chose to use watercolor paint, but you can use crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you have in the house. I hope you had fun making your doodle flower art. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. Make sure you upload it to Seesaw. If you have a comment or a description or you want to record me a little video, I would love to see your face.